I guess you could say turkey hunting is a part of who I am. In fact, a turkey is the first big game animal I ever killed. I'll never forget that day, sitting on my grandpa's lap, listening to his box call as a tom answered with a gobble in the distance. As he got close, my heart began to race. I could hear the spitting drum and the sound of his wings dragging as he strutted in to the one hen decoy my grandpa had placed at just 20 yards. Well, got this little blind made here. Season opens in just a couple days. As I've been here, I've been hearing hens down in the river. I've also heard a couple gobbles. So uh, 
They roost back right over here. Hopefully we can put the bear to work. We'll see what happens. It would be so cool to shoot a turkey right here with my grandpa's 1970 bear takedown. I can't even explain to you how cool that would be. I don't know if you heard that right there. Hens are squawking down there in the river. All right, I think we're set up. Should work just fine. I'm gonna get out of here. since my grandfather passed away, the one that took me on that very first turkey hunt. That turkey hunt that sparked a lifetime of memories with my dad, wife, and countless friends. It was a bittersweet moment going back and thinking of all the time spent with him hunting and fishing. After he passed, I was blessed enough to receive his old bear archery takedown recurve. I remember as a kid seeing it hanging in his basement and thinking to myself how cool it was. A true piece of archery history that I hoped I could use one day. Well, this is it right here. It's either a 1969 or 1970 bear takedown. Just an absolute beautiful piece of art here in my opinion. Uh, it does have updated limbs. Um, this is the original riser that I got from my grandfather after he passed. Uh, but these limbs are updated. They're a 45 pound limb. Uh, the limbs that came with the bow, I believe for 55 pounds. And with me starting in traditional archery, I did not want to start with a higher poundage. Uh, just didn't want to get bad habits. Wanted to train myself on lower poundage. I think that's been a great idea. Got two great arrows down there touching. We're only about 12 yards, but uh, I plan on trying to get these turkeys pretty close. It's a fun shooter, a lot of history here. It would be so cool to take this piece of history that was my grandfather's that, uh, you know, basically got me into turkey hunting. Take it out this many years later and put a big gobbler on the ground.
morning here in Nebraska, March 25th. To say I'm excited is an understatement. We've got the old bear take down here. We've got the decoys at about 13 yards. And there is an absolute pile of turkeys in here. <laughs> tell you how blessed I feel to even be sitting here right now. God is good. No matter the outcome of this morning. We're going to enjoy this. Let's see what happens. It's 8.30 in the morning, and these birds just do not want to seem to come out to this field. There's a cornfield on the other side of this timber that is uh, not the property that I have permission to hunt, and that seems to be where they wanted to go. However, there is still some birds in the timber through here that we keep seeing filtering through. I think we're gonna give it another hour or so. We're just gonna kinda sit tight, hang out, and uh, just hope Something wants to move through here eventually. I can hear a hen yelping here pretty close, but uh, we'll see what happens. If not, we might be right back here in the morning or maybe even this evening. With how close they roosted right here, a guy might be able to sit here in an evening and get one to come in. The only problem is I think you would have to sit in a little bit different location for the fact that the sun would be right on you right here. You'd probably get caught drawn. So guy might have to move down right into the point of this. But uh, we'll see what happens. You just never know. Over the next several days, I hunted every chance I had. I quickly realized that the goal I had set for myself wasn't going to be easy. I felt like everything was against me. The cold weather, grouped up birds, hunting without a blind, and trying to film myself most days. Let's just say my patience was starting to wear thin.
Finally, one sunny afternoon, I thought my luck was about to change as a lonesome Tom gobbled close shortly after getting set up. Oh my gosh, guys, a bird just gobbled right here close to me, right on top of me. I see him, I see him.
First arrow flung at an animal out of the recurve. Gosh. Broadhead's still sharp as can be. I'm actually lower than the ground, so when the arrow hit, it just kind of glided across the ground. I wouldn't be scared to knock that thing right back on. It's, I mean, sharp. Shaving hair sharp, literally. Shaving hair sharp. So. I guess I will re-knock. Sit here a little longer and try again. Can't believe I had one right there. I mean, right there, 13 yards. Unreal. It's April the 7th. in him can be with him in heaven someday and be able to do things like this and glorify 
glorify him in it. If it be his will this morning, maybe he'll bless me. If not, I'm just going to keep faith and move on. Keep plucking away. Another bird gobbled there. <laughs> Until it's time. No matter what happens this morning, I feel blessed to be here. on the ground. That bird's on the ground. Thousand percent. He's coming. He's coming. Behind me. 
Here on my home farm. <sighs> my grandpa's bow. <laughs> my grandpa's bow. <sighs> it's all I wanted this year. Kind of praised down. I pray I made a good shot. <laughs> the air was still in him. one thing I've learned over the years, it's that God's plan often differs from ours. I had the vision of a perfect hunt and a story ending with a perfectly placed arrow, but I quickly realized that was not the plan. My arrow had hit low in the breast, a non-lethal shot that anyone who bow hunts turkeys dreads. All the time practicing hundreds of arrows all the time hunting to finally get this perfect opportunity and I blew it. I searched for over three hours. Every brush pile, every log, I left nothing unturned. All I could think is why me, why now? This is all I had wanted, all I had thought about for weeks. At that moment, I understood God's plan. I had been spending all of my time, every free second I had to accomplish this goal, that I had forgotten an even bigger goal I had set long ago. My grandfather was one of the hardest workers I've ever met, but that constant drive sometimes got in the way of more important things in life. If there is one thing I know my Papa Dale would want me to learn from his life. It's that choosing work and personal goals over family is never the right choice. When I became a dad, I made a promise that I would never let work or personal endeavors get in the way of being the best husband and father I could be. Maybe this was God allowing him to remind me of that. I'd like to think so. Either way, I knew it was time to head home.
know about you. You're a goofy. God bless everybody. Have a great week. God bless everybody. Alright, anything else? Good night. Good night. Don't let the bed bug bite. Don't let the bed bite. <laughs> Thank you. See ya. Feels like you lost the war. Come.